Hi! Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, newest Heltec ESP32 LoRa Information 2023, I find there's a new location for the documentation for the Heltec ESP32 LoRa board. And that's important because you need to know where the board manager URL is. I got so excited I went ahead and bought a couple of these V3 ESP32 LoRa boards. Let's go ahead and take them out of the box here. This is great. They're using the USB-C connector instead of the USB micro. There's your battery connector. And this does handle battery charging. Yeah, lots of GPIO pins available. And there's where you hook the antenna up. Let's see what else we got in the box. Yeah, we got some breadboard pins. I'm not going to bother with those on this go-round. There's your antenna cable and the stubby antenna. And we get a spare battery connector. Let's go ahead and pop that on. I've got it lined up. I like to use the eraser of a pencil or the blunt end of a pen to kind of pop it down. Sometimes I can pinch it on there with my fingers, but it just doesn't seem to work all the time. You snaps on there and you can see it pivots on that mount once you've got it attached correctly. Let's go ahead and attach our stubby antenna to the cable. And there's extra mounting hardware there, a couple of nuts and a couple of lock washers for a through the wall mount. Speaking of which, here's my rendition of a 3D printed case that you can pick up here. Look for the link in the description down below. It'll take you to my Thingiverse page. Yeah, and you'll want to check out these 1000 mAh Maker Focus batteries. They fit in the case, and they already have the JST connector that's compatible with the Heltec ESP32 LoRa board. And this particular switch here actually press fits into the front of my 3D printed case. Let's take a look. I've got the wiring harness built up there. This end hooks up to the Heltec ESP32 LoRa board. It's so tiny. <laughs> there we go, get it going. Yeah, that's in there. Now it's in there. Okay, the switch is off, hooking up the battery. Let's test it first before we close it up. All right, it's working. Yeah, see the battery fits in there perfectly. Kind of tuck the wiring in there. Got to spin the board around so the USB port is pointed towards that opening at the case. And then I'm going to swivel the antenna cable. That's several different places where you could pop the antenna out on that case. You can screw down the cover. And you can actually access the push buttons there as well. There we go. This is an assembled unit here. I went ahead and just zip tied the antenna to one of those side lugs there. Let's fire it up. I didn't set up the Wi-Fi yet, so it failed. Yeah, it ships out of the box with the factory test. So now it's waiting for LoRa data. So we're back to the quick start guide. First thing we're going to do is install the USB driver. You need the Silicone Labs CP2104 driver. Of course, all the links are down below. Pick this fourth one here. That's the one I had the best luck with. CP210X Windows drivers. We're downloading that. Okay, the download's complete. Let's just open that zip file. We're going to copy all of the contents of that zip file. I'm going to go back up one level. I'm going to create a CP210X folder. And we go in there and we paste the contents from the zip file. 
I'm going to run the 64-bit version because I'm on Windows 10. Next. Yes, next. And the driver's installed. This way in Device Manager, you see it show up here under Ports, Com, and LPT, Silicon Labs, CP210X, USB, UART Bridge. And you see what COM port you're on. I wish I'd pay closer attention here. It says the example sketches come along with the board manager definition. You don't need to install the other ESP32 library from Helltech. Here, let's get the board manager URL. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into Arduino IDE, File, Preferences, down here at the bottom, Additional Board Manager URLs. Click to expand that list, and then you'd copy it and paste it at the bottom of the list. Click OK. Now we can install the board support. We go into the Board Manager, and we're going to search for Helltech ESP32. That's the one you want right there, 007. And we'll hit install. This does take a long time. It's a rather large package to install. Well, it's finally done, so now we can go in and pick our board, ESP32 Arduino. And it's the top one here. This is the version 3. This was the library I used in error here. This is the one I was used to working with with the V2 boards using the O lead LoRa sender and receiver sketches. Don't install this library for the version 3 board. Yeah, that's the Helltech ESP32 library. Yeah, we go down here, example sketches, Helltech ESP32 dev boards. This will still work with version 2, but Let's see what happens. Oh, lead Laura Sender. We're going to go ahead and compile it. Again, we're cropping and compressing for the sake of time here. Yeah, yep, yeah, see. Got an error and it says Laura, there's <laughs> Laura is undefined. It doesn't like the version 3 board. So don't use the old library with the new board. Laura's not declared in scope. This board's not going to be much fun without Laura. So I went to issues in the GitHub library for the Helltech Automation Helltech ESP32, and it basically says don't use this library, it's outdated or something. If you have the board definition already installed, the example sketches came with it. <laughs> I wish, like I said, I wish. I'd picked up on that in the quick start guide, but I kind of breezed right through it. Oh, there it is. Helltech example. It's much closer to the top. Yeah, that's the one you want. Helltech example. Let's go ahead and load that factory test example sketch. Factory test. We want the V3 factory test. We'll expand that window out. I did encounter a problem compiling that, and I went to the Helltech Aaron Lee Wi-Fi Kit Series repository and looked in the issues, and this guy has posted some updated include files, Helltech CPP and Helltech H files. Download the zip. Open the zip. We're going to copy those, and we're going to drill down into the path, users, your name, app data, local, Arduino 15, packages, Helltech ESP32, hardware, ESP32007, libraries, Helltech example, source. Now you can see that's an empty Helltech H file. I don't know how it compiled the second time it worked after I reloaded all the libraries that worked the second time, but I'm going to go ahead and say you're going to want to install these here. Okay, so let's load that example sketch again. Oh yeah, let's talk about this example sketch. It actually includes all of the configurable parameters 
for LoRa. A lot of the example sketches I see just have frequency and power output and they don't expose the rest of these settings. Define power and frequency and they don't expose the LoRa bandwidth, spread factor, or coding rate. Make sure to watch my other video where I talk about the best LoRa settings. Yeah, if you want to connect to Wi-Fi as part of your factory test, you scroll down here past the LoRa section. Yeah, you can see we're talking about the display and below that is Wi-Fi setup your Wi-Fi SSID and your password. Again, a lot of the example sketches just have the RF frequency and TX output power and they're typically set like this, 915 for US and 14 for TX power. The rest of these don't aren't included in the example sketches I'm familiar with. I'm going to leave them at default this time around and we'll go ahead and compile that. Stay tuned for my range test video because I'm going to pump it up a little bit. Okay, so we've got our two factory test sketches installed here on our two boards. Let's fire them up. Okay, so we're connected to Wi-Fi. Now we're waiting for LoRa data. And what's cool about the factory test is it's both a sender and a receiver. So we're just ping-ponging LoRa packets back and forth between these two devices. I'm really excited to do the range test. I think the RSSI numbers are looking pretty strong here with this version 3 board. Okay, so I hope this video answers all of your questions working with the new Helltech ESP32 version 3 LoRa board. Because, well, like I said, I had to work out some of the kinks myself, finding the board manager URL, finding the example sketches, and getting the right sketch installed there. Give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and before you go watch more of my Helltech ESP32 LoRa videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.